we've got these little icons, but what's cool is when you click on them, it plays a little video. Wow. And we can do the same here. And Freaking yeah, love it. so let me show you how I made those. What I wanted to do was more to, was to explore a different style. So actually, I kind of picked Mr. Ben. Mr. Ben is a kind of cartoon and book from the 80s or maybe even the 70s that I remember from my childhood. But, you know, I just picked it out as something that was very different from that and just see how these tools could adapt. And I suppose, you know, Tesco is a very British brand, so this is a kind of you know, a bit of nostalgia. So I thought it might be a nice fit. So what I was able to do, you know, I just simply, I mean, you can see here, can we have the fan side on and can you use the hand-drawn style like Mr. Ben? And I started thinking about how I could add little, you know, scenes and things like that. And then I was like, can you give me a prompt? I can get to mid-journey. I was able to then take that prompt into mid-journey. And as you can see here, there's lots of prompts. Oh, right there. Why ask ChatGPT to create that exact specifications? Why not just get mid-journey to like, like get it from scratch? I mean, I had the same thought, but... Folks, this is Jay and welcome to Sneak Peek. Today with me, I have a rock star designer from the Tesco design team, Rob, who's going to show us how you can use ChatGPT plus mid-journey plus V0 to animate your website or your app's navigation icons. Rob, super stoked to have you on here. Hey everybody, hey Jay, nice to be here. So yeah, I just wanted to take a bit of time to talk about how you can use Gen AI and LLMs to kind of create some cool, fun things. Here's what it looks like in the end. We've got these little icons, but what's cool is when you click on them, it plays a little video. Wow. And we can do the same here. And... Freaking yeah, love it. so let me show you how I made those. Originally, I was thinking about how to recreate that kind of iconic Anna Airbnb style of icons that was kind of blowing up over Twitter and LinkedIn, etc. And yeah, those look great. You can get some really nice things. But what I wanted to do was more to was it to explore a different style. So actually, I kind of picked. Mr. Ben. Mr. Ben is a kind of cartoon and book from the 80s or maybe even the 70s that I remember from my childhood. But, you know, I just picked it out as something that was very different from that and just see how these tools could adapt. And I suppose, you know, Tesco is a very British brand, so this is a kind of you know, a bit of nostalgia. So I thought it might be a nice fit. So what I was able to do, you know, I just simply, I mean, you can see here, can we have the fan side on and can you use the hand-drawn style like Mr. Ben? And through a series of prompts, you know, there's kind of like don't crop the van, put it on a transparent background. Then I started thinking about how I could add little, you know, scenes and things like that. And then I was like, can you give me a prompt? I can give to mid-journey. Midjourney can now do video as well. So, and you could specify the start and end frame, which is critical for this because you want it to be a loop. So some of the other tools, you allow you to start, the, choose the end frame or the, or the start frame, but you never know what you're going to get at the beginning. What I wanted for this was to have it as a loop so I could, it could be a seamless animation. I was able to then take that prompt into Midjourney. And as you can see here, there's lots of prompts. I did actually start, try prompting it Midjourney directly to create the Tesco van, but didn't do so well. But taking the, the oh right there yeah i was going to ask you why ask chat gpt to create that exact specifications why not just get mid journey to like like get it from scratch i, I mean i had the same thought process like well if if him chat gpt can do it why can't this but i think it immediately always went for something you know a particular style you know some of these ones i'm using even i can't actually see the the reference but i think that's well, actually using the correct I just said animate the van, but I used the actual, the image it created. These are photos. But when I started doing the videos, you know, there's lots of kind of trial and error. One of the things I found, you know, these backgrounds look quite cool, but immediately there's always a bit, you know, some of the stuff here has just gone wrong. So like, for instance, this one, the things on the van. Or, and then I was thinking in terms of how this is actually going to work, if these things just appear from the edge of the frame, it's going to look really weird on a white background. So I, I wanted to remove those. 
then it was more like, okay, let's get the driver talking or, you know, getting the hands moving, you know, his, his eyes and mouth are moving and his hands on the steering wheel. One thing that I found mid journey kept doing was making it rotate. So I didn't ask for that. I mean, it just looks really cool, the 3D, but it was either kind of driving like a maniac or just spinning. And so you see it even more on the, the moped versions of this. Well, like every single one is spinning. What I wanted, to, what you know, what I was trying to go for was the wheels. I wanted the wheels to turn and a bit of kind of like dust to come up and maybe them to turn around and some momentum. Some of them have some of these things, you know, like this, they look, it, it looks great. You know, if that's, if you want somebody to spin around, like that leg goes and it's just, you know, it's not, it's not a push bike, you know, but it looks so cool. Some of these things, there's a bit of dust there coming, but now they're just spinning around. So I could have used any of these ones, I suppose, because obviously it's not for production, but I was, you know, there's a few where she's just like going crazy and you could i mean but i couldn't get it to not spin that was one of the challenges and I, I i tried i tried a different one here but again they just spin around so anyway i picked one that looked pretty good so got this one i did like the way this turned you know i think that that's quite cute really and it's just amazing how it's done that and then this one here and then Literally what I've done is I've just saved these, exported the videos for these, and then I go into V0, and what I did was I created, just said, you know, I want to create a navigation with some tabs along the top, and then provided the videos, and I think the videos were probably just dumped into a, into a folder here, and then there's things like just getting the, the pace, the, sp the spacing right. Okay, put the videos behind the text labels. For instance, other like videos were on top. You know, basic stuff like that. How does the hover work? You know, the scaling of that. And then, yeah, I mean, I suppose from start to finish was probably a, a couple of hours, but I think most of that time was spent playing around in mid-journey, like desperate to try and get it to not spin. You know, I just really want... Because what I was hoping to get is some kind of, you know, moment, forward momentum, stopping a bit of character and things like that, but I couldn't really get it. But I think the overall effect is really powerful. Now, you know, this is something that it looks you know, amazing. It, 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 it looks, it looks great. It makes me smile. You know, it's nice to know that you can do these things. And obviously it's just going to get better and better with the prompting and things like that. So the, the issues that I've had, I mean, that was a few months ago. They might well have been resolved now. I don't know. I haven't used my journey recently, but. It's just, you know, it's an easy way to kind of bring a bit of character to the, to your interface. And I mean, like a lot of the things now with Gen AI, it's just fun, you know, like unlocking creativity that you've not been able to do for a while. Or, I mean, I'd never be able to create this stuff myself. I'm not an animator. So being able to do it just feels unlocking so many opportunities. Makes sense. Thank you so much, Rob for showing us how to create some slick icons and animations using ChatGPT, Midjourney, and V0. Pleasure, thanks, Jay. Hey, this is Jay. It means the world to me that you watch this video. If you want to unlock the AI design and growth design interviews with designers at some of the top companies in the world, then head on over to sneakpeek.design and subscribe to the newsletter. 